I'm Nasser Inoltin. I'm a professional teacher of English in the Moroccan secondary school, and I'll be your Moroccan Arabic online tutor. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can learn Moroccan Arabic the fastest and easiest way. In fact, thanks to this four-step technique that I'm about to share with you, you can learn Moroccan Arabic from scratch the right way. So learn Moroccan Arabic in four easy steps. Plan, do, check, and act. So this is lesson number one. Your learning improvement cycle. So step number one, plan in red. Step number two, do in orange. Step number three, check in green. And the last step, act in blue. Why this particular method? So step number one, you are going to memorize as many given you vocabulary and sentences or sentence structures as possible until you are satisfied with your achievement. The functions, vocab items, and grammar rules are specific to the lesson. Step number two, do. You are going to listen and repeat the sentence or the sentence models and look at their phonetic transcription for better pronunciation. Step number three, you are going to check your understanding by answering some yes, no, and multiple choice questions and true, false questions. The answer keys will be given at the end of the exercise, each exercise. And the final step is act. You are going to come up with new expressions based on the given suggestions and guidelines. So let's go to the lesson plan. By the end of this lesson, you are going to learn. So in section function, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself, how to introduce others, how to express likes and dislikes, and how to say goodbye in Moroccan Arabic. In the vocabulary section, you are going to learn some new family relations or new family relation words and some classroom vocabulary. In the last section, grammar, you are going to learn some personal pronouns and singular pronouns. So I hope that you are going to enjoy this. Now, let's go to step number one, plan. Functions, how to express, how to introduce yourself and others. Hello, I'm Nora. Salam, Anna Nora. So hello is Salam. I'm Anna. Nora is the name of a female, the name of a person. It's a proper name. Hi, my name is Khalid. Salam, Smiti Khalid. So hi and hello, Salam, both of them. Smiti, my name, Khalid is a masculine name. Nora, this is Khalid. Nora, Hada Khalid. So, Hada, this is. Okay? Hada. Alright? Khalid, this is Nora. Khalid, Hadi Nora. Okay? So, Hadi means this is. Okay? So, note the difference between Hada and Hadi. So, Hada is for masculine and Hadi is for, mis, uh, sorry, is for uh, feminine, uh, sorry. Now let's go to expressing likes and dislikes. I like couscous, canbri, sksu. I like canbri, sksu, couscous, or couscous in Moroccan Arabic too. Number two, she likes tea, katbri, uh, sorry, katbri, ate, ate, she likes katbri, at a T. Next, they like football. Kebriu al Kora. Kebriu al Kora. They, Kebriu, they like Kebriu football Kora. I don't like dogs. Mekan Brish Nkleb. Note um, the negative form. I don't like Mekan Brish. So we start with Mekan Brish and we finish with the ish suffix. Club dogs. Mekan Brish Club. She doesn't like Finnish. Mekat Brish Lhut. So fish is Lhut. So doesn't like Mekat Brish. Okay? Alright? Now let's say to let's go to saying goodbye. So goodbye. Slama. Slama. See you. 
Chofu, Chofu, all right. See you later, and Chofu. Next. Now let's go to vocabulary. Some family relations. My father, ba. My mother, me. My brother, khuya. My sister, khti. Some school words. Headmaster, mudir. So the female version is mudira. Teacher, usted. Female version in Moroccan Arabic is usteda. So usted, masculine. Usteda, feminine. Student, tilmid, female, female, tilmida. So the female version is tilmida. All right. Now let's go next to grammar, personal pronouns. I am a student. Note that I put to be between parentheses because we do not need to be in Moroccan Arabic. So, I am a student, we say, I student, huh? I student, Anna Tilmid, I am a student, Anna Tilmid, so I is Anna, you are a student, Nta Tilmid, you Nta Tilmid, student, he is a student, Hua Tilmid, he, Hua, she is a student, Hia Tilmida, no, Tilmida, we added an A at the end, so this is a suffix for feminine. We are students. The feminine version as we have seen before. You are students. So you students the feminine version is they are students. Again the feminine version is Huma Tell me that. Now let's move to step number two dialogue. Ahmed, Samira, and Saeed are in the schoolyard. So we have the English version and the Moroccan Arabic transcription version. Samira, hi, I'm Samira Al Wafi. Salam, Anna Samira Al Wafi. So hi means salam. I'm Anna. Samira is the name of a female, it's a female name. Luafi is a family name. Ahmed, hello, my name is Ahmed Alawi. Salam, smiti Ahmed Alawi. So hello and hi are the same in Moroccan Arabic. Salam. My name, smiti Ahmed Alawi. Samira, nice to meet you, Ahmed. Sharfin Ahmed, nice to meet you. Sharfin. Samira, who is that boy sitting next to you? Shkun dak dirri ligars hdak. So shkun is a WH question word, okay, for people. All right. Who is that boy sitting next to you? Shkun that dak boy dirri sitting ligars hdak next to you. All right. So Ahmed, oh. This is my brother, Saeed. So, oh, we have an interjection here. So, uh, ah is the corresponding Moroccan version. Ah, ah. Who this is? Uh, sorry, oh, this is my brother, Saeed. Ah, Hada Khuya Saeed. So, this is Hada, brother, Khuya. Okay. Now, let's move to the next page. Ahmed, let me introduce you. Khalini Narafkum. Khalini Narafkum. So let me Khalini introduce you. Introduce Naraf you kum. So let me introduce you. Khalini Narafkum. Nora, this is Said. Nora Hada Said. So this is means Hada. Nora Hada Said. Said, this is Nora. Said, Hadi Nora. So again, Hada is masculine and Hadi is feminine. Said, nice to meet you, Nora. Msharfin Nora. Samira, nice to meet you too, Said. Msharfin Said. Said, how is everything? Kidera. Now, Kidera, if you want to ask for, if you want to ask uh, a girl or a woman, Kidera. 
All right. Now, if you want to ask a boy or a man, you say kider. Okay. If you want to ask uh, plural, uh, many people you say kiderin, kiderin. All right. Samira, fine. Thank you. Lebes, shukran. So fine is lebes. Thank you, shukran. And you, unta. So and u. You, unta. Unta. For example, I like tea. Can bri a te. Unta. And you, unta. Okay. Now let's go to the next page. Said. Good. Thanks. Thank God. Good. Bekhir. Thank God. Alhamdulillah. So thank God is Alhamdulillah. So Bekhir, Alhamdulillah. Bekhir, Alhamdulillah. Samira. Are you students in this school? Washintuma Telamid Fahad Madrasa. So are you students? Wash. So wash is a WH question word. Alright. Ntuma, you students Telamid Fahad Madrasa in Fahad in this school Madrasa. Said no, we came with our parents. La so no means la. No, la, Gina, ma, walidina. We came, Gina, ma, with, walidina, our parents. La, Gina, ma, walidina. We want to ask the headmaster. We want, Brina. For example, we want coffee, Brina, kahwa. Okay? We want fish, Brina, lhut, for example. Brina Nsulu al Mudir to ask Nsulu the headmaster Mudir Brina Nsulu Mudir if he has any vacancies in the German class if Ila Ila Andu she blies Hawin Fulkesim Diel Almania Ila Andu she blies Hawin Fulkesim Diel Almania so if Ila Andu he has any vacancies she blies Hawin all right all of this. She buys Hawin. All right. For Qism Dil Almania in the German class. Next. Samira. Ah, now I see. Now I understand. So, ah, the Befemt. So, the Ba, now. I see. Femt. Femt. Now I see. The Ba, Femt. The Befemt. The Befemt. Okay, see you later or see you another time. Yalla, and shufkum in bed. Shufkum in bed. Okay, so, so this is a usual expression in Moroccan Arabic. I have a biology class now. I have Andy. You have Andak. She has Andha. He has Andu. You have Andkum. We have Andna. They have Andkum. All right, and home, sorry. Okay, so I have a biology class now. And the biology class, so class is Hissa and biology. So the, the d sound is for of in English. Deba now, bye, slama, slama, bye, bye, slama. Okay, now let's go to step number three checking comprehension. So in this section, I'm going to ask you questions in English. Now, I know that you know the answers in English, but try to give me the corresponding exact Moroccan Arabic answers, okay? So Ahmed and Saeed are students in the school. Saeed is Ahmed's friend. Saeed wants to study French. And Samira has a biology class now. So we have an important note, true is sahih and false is khata. So this is a true and false question, okay? You can go back to above to the dialogue and check your answers, all right? Now let's go and check the answer keys. All right, so the corresponding exact Moroccan Arabic answers are, so please, please pay attention to the uh, color code. So you have Ahmed in red, you have Said in blue, and you have Samira in red, okay? 
So Ahmed and Saeed are students in the school. Khata. So this is false. La Jina Mawalidina. No, we came with our parents. Brina Nsulu Mudir. We want to ask the teacher. Brina Nsulu Mudir. Alright. So you can go back to the conversation and go to the blue transcriptions in which Saeed where Saeed is speaking. Saeed is Ahmed's friend. Khata. So this is false. Not friend. Not his friend. Okay? Alright. Khata. So Ah Hada Khuya Saeed. Hada, this is Khuya, my brother Saeed. This is my brother Saeed. Ah Hada Khuya Saeed. Alright. Okay. Now Samira has a biology class now. All right, sorry, she wants to study French, okay? <coughs> Said wants to study French. Khata. Ila andu shi blais khawin fil qism diel Almania, okay? So, ila andu, if he has, she blais khawin, any vacancies, fil qism, the class, diel Almania of Germany, of German, sorry. Okay. Samira has a biology class now. Sahih. Okay, that's true. Andy Hissa Lulum Deba. I have a biology class now. Now you can check the conversation above uh, to see your answers. Okay, so we said Sahih is true and Khata is false. Next. Now let's go to step number four. In this section, I'm going to give you sentences in English. Try to give me the exact corresponding Moroccan Arabic equivalent. You may pause the video to prepare your answers. So, hi, my name is Safa. Number two, I am a student. Number three, this is my brother. Number four, we want to learn German. Number five, my mother is ill. So ill is a new and adjective, okay? It describes the physical state of people, all right? I am ill and I'm red. Now let's see the answers. Okay, hi, my name is Safa. Salam, Smiti Safa. My name, Smiti, Safa. I am a student, Anna Tilmida. Okay, so Safa is uh, female, so we have Tinmida. So if you are talking about Khalid or Ahmed, masculine, we are, we are going to say Ana Tinmid. Ana Tinmida, Safa. This is my brother, Hada, <coughs> sorry, Hada Khuya. Hada, this is Khuya, brother. We want German, Brina Almania. So we want Brina. I want Brit. You want Briti. She wants Brat. He wants Bra. They want Brau. Okay? We can change this. Okay? According to which personal pronoun are we talking about. My mother is ill. Me, Marida. So, mother is me. And ill is Marida. I have a biology class now. Andy, Hissa, Lulum, Daba. I have, Andy, a biology class, okay, Hissa al okay, class of biology, Daba, now, okay, all right, so congratulations, you have successfully finished lesson number one, if you have come so far, of course, the first steps are always difficult in learning any new language, but keep in mind and keep watching things will get easier and easier if you like the video don't forget to subscribe share comment and give it a big thumb up thumbs up your big your uh, feedback will surely encourage me to make more videos so stay tuned stay tuned for the coming lessons and good luck